Guys, do I even need to introduce those kind of battles at this point? The PU action with House of Wolves 100 just doesn't end. Here we go again. I lead off with physically defensive Scorupi because my team doesn't really pack any powerhouses, even Mr. Mime is running Technician Charge Beam set, so Toxic Spikes will be extremely helpful to wear down some of the threats on Mark's side. He leads off with Pseudo Udo to set up a Stealth Rock, which will rape my Delibert on the Switch, but it does have a Rapid Spin, so I'm not too concerned about that. In exchange, I knock off his leftovers and then set up two layers of Toxic Spikes and take his Rock Slides like it's no big deal. Then I go for a Poison Fang just because of its 50% Toxicking chance, but apparently it is still less likely to happen than Scald Burn because I don't get it on neither of two attempts and go down to the third Rock Slide. Now I go to Pupitar just to force his switch and this thing was actually given to me by Ninja Matkips back when he used to play Pokemon and I never got to use it properly, so I figured sure, why the hell not, let's try it in this battle. I set up a Stealth Rock as he switches to Golduck and then stay in and go for an Earth Power because by now I've had enough battles with Mark to know that he isn't just gonna go for a Hydro Pump, more likely he's gonna set up a Substitute or even worse, a Coal Mine predicting my switch. Even with boosted special defense, it still does a good chunk, but now I really don't want to switch out, as everything on my team will take a ton of damage from Hydro Pump, so I just decide to stay in and fodder this thing to get a safe switch. Pupitar, however, probably got some ninja skills from his original trainer, because he avoids it like a beast, and after a poison damage, Mark's Golduck is barely alive, so I'm like, alright Pupitar, I see you working, you deserve to stay in the battle, so I decide to trade off Mr. Mime instead, knowing that both Grovile and Pyro are outspeeded, so it's not gonna be much of a help anyway. Then I go to Delibert just to rapid spin these rocks away, but of all the things, he chooses to bring his Pyro and due to level 50, my HP number is even, meaning that I won't be surviving the next Stealth Rock switching, so I just go for a Life Orb Hustle boosted fake out, don't follow it up with an Ice Rat for some reason and get roasted with a Flamethrower. But no matter, Cupider is still here and it walls this thing to oblivion, and do you see that damage he is taking with each switch? That's some beautiful damage, his Gogo didn't even do anything and already almost half of its health is gone. I don't really want to switch out to Dust Talk on a predicted rock slide, so I decide to make a safer play and switch to the Den. Yeah, that the Den, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, surviving Energy Ball, getting a clutch Lichy Berry boost as well as Cheek Pouch recovery and forcing yet another switch with a Stab Play Rough. Gimmicky but versatile, I am loving this set. Not only that, it is strong enough with plus 1 to 2 hit KO his pseudo Udo from this range and thanks to its fairy typing, Sucker Punch is not enough to finish it off, so pseudo Udo is out of there, just like that. Because of that, and because his Gogot is a special attacker, I can safely go to my Dust Talks and start setting up some Quiver Dances, because that's what it does. He makes it even easier by bringing his Clefairy, but I can totally see why he has done that. Most of Dust Toxes, including his own, are running a defensive set with Toxic, Whirlwind, Moonlight and a coverage move, but not this one. This one is all about that late game Quiver Dance sweeps and the moment he saw that, he realized that it's pretty much the game right there, because whatever he does right there, I am gonna be at plus 2. I'll speed everything but Pyroar, which I can easily stall out with a Moonlight, so he just accepts that Dust Ox is about to leave nothing but dust on his side, and that is the game. Good game Mark. 
Effie, Trick Room Nasty Plot Yamask, and now this. I am sorry buddy, you just happen to be the one that gets to experience all of those things in all of their glory, but we both know that this is not how every one of our battle ends, so I am looking forward to getting smashed by something like Explosion or Swagger Team to make up for that. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this quick game, in which case, don't forget to leave a like and comment, and I see you soon with another one. Bye.